Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ati Allah, Ati Rasulullah al-Amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and Abdul Aji Sadaee from Miskeen, Zal and Mujahad. But for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah Allah Zawajal grant us a life in which to see these holy nights and grant us immense blessings, favours, ni'mat for us to have this love for Sayyidina Muhammad his blessed and holy family and to see the night of the birth of Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari Salaam, some say tonight, some say tomorrow. But wherever it is Allah address us by our intention in a time in which, in a location in which there is no time. That from that location of no time that the emanation and blessings that are always flowing. Alhamdulillah that from all this understanding of juzbah, of magnetic connection, of ishq and muhabbat and what people call gravity and what you gravitate to then the holy hadith of Sayyidina Muhammad you be with whom you love. So then watch out who you love. If all this sensitivity is teaching us that the heart is an immensely sensitive magnet and what you direct that magnet to you'll be with whom you love. And that's what we've talked many times as a reminder always for myself is you look around to see who are you with. If you're with people whom are not in that love, not wishing to raise themselves, not wishing to purify themselves but then thinking, I'll be with whom I love and I'll be with the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and it's always a life check for ourselves that, show me your friends and I'll show you who you are. So it means that our life is about surrounding ourselves with ashiqeen and that to watch wuquf qalb or, or vigilance of the heart is so essential because it's, it's the warning from all these teachings that if my heart is such a sensitive reality and the, not only physical heart, the spiritual heart and the soul is a giant magnet and whom I direct that magnet to it will move itself in that direction and lock to that. And that's why ishq and love and muhabbat and companionship is so essential in the tariqah. Means a companionship, that's why our tariqah is based on the association and companionship. Then Mawlana Shah Naqshband, tariqatun aswaba al khairu fi jamia is the, the associations and the best of company so that we keep the company of those whom are trying to improve themselves, whom trying to regulate themselves, have good characteristics, good quality. And as a result encourage ourselves towards the ishq and love of the Divinely Presence and that ishq and love that Allah wants us to convey towards the Muhammadan Presence And that is a, a immense, immense sort of blessing and to be watchful that this heart is a magnet and it will be attracted and begin to move and gravitate towards these different people that I associate with, these different people that I communicate with. So as a result of my vigilance and my understanding then I tried my best to keep myself in the company of those whom wish to purify themselves and wish to bring about a change within themselves. That's why it's important in the companionship, that's why it's important to attend the zikrs, that's why it's important to look around and think that if I have a group of bad friends and I think at the end my ending is going to be good that to try to again purify oneself and abstain from both bad people, bad desires, bad characteristics and try to 
purify oneself and levitate towards the people of dhikr and the people of muhabbat and ishq and good character. And that's in every aspect. So if I go somewhere that I even think is religious and the person is yelling and screaming and exhibiting all sorts of aggressive and angry characteristic it is as dangerous. So it's no difference because the bad characteristic is the same that whom you learn from, whom you associate with their characteristics will begin to like a madad flow onto you. Because the madad from all this teaching of magnetism is not in your hands. You don't accompany and then determine what type of energy you're going to take from them but it's something that will just flow. Whatever charge is on that person, energy and character is on that person and personality of that person by accompanying and keeping that company you begin to exhibit those characteristics. And that's what Allah wanted to show the angels that if you're learning from what became shaitan and that his characteristic was being conveyed in his uloom. So it wasn't only just the knowledge but it was the vessel in which it was coming. Allah wanted to show them that the one you're learning from is not of the best of character and has an arrogance within his reality. And Allah wanted to test and bring out the test. So as soon as He ordered them for sujood, the one who was teaching said, no way, not going to. So that immediately showed the immensity of the bad character and the pride that are not going to, to listen to Allah and that the angels who then bowed down they could realize that all the knowledge was in, in is interesting but the character was more important. So what shaitan thought of himself was the danger, that he thought his knowledge made him to be self-sufficient. And as a result of his pride and arrogance was then the downfall but at the same time it was the contamination into the heart of the student which were the angels of that reality. Those were the same angels because of their knowledge mixed with shaitan whom Allah later cursed and punished. That knowledge that they had acquired from that reality led them to have shak and doubt. That's why the purity of their knowledge didn't absorb no matter what He taught them. So as soon as Allah said, I'm making Adam the Khalifa, they had now shak and doubt that, why are you making the Khalifa when they're going to make bloodshed like that? So how could they even talk to Allah Because they had gained the bad characteristic. So I mean at every level, this heart is extremely sensitive. So there's outright evil which hopefully many of the listeners have passed that where you're gonna hang out with a whole bunch of you know dangerous and bad character people and exhibiting bad, bad characteristics and hope that you're going to change. But there's going to be magnetic conveyance of energies and tajallis that you're not under control with. You're going to pick up all the charge of these negative people and you're going to end up going home talking and acting like them eventually. And then there's in the levels of purity the, the vigilance of the heart. These are for people who say, can I go here? Can I go to this zikr? Can I go to that zikr? Can I go everywhere? Can I go here? Can I go there? Just no because there's no adapt to say yes and no for people. Everybody has free will but if you are studying and vigilant with your heart and say that my heart is my most sensitive vessel in, reach, in, in which to reach the Divinely Presence. You're not going to reach by brain, you're not going to be reached by hands, you're not going to be reached by anything within your chest except the heart. So fine-tuned, perfected like gold and polished. Then you put that heart under your vigilance and you secure it and guard it wherever you go. That you go and you feel that the, the energy is not correct, 
the type in which the person's talking is not respectful to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and people who have accompanied me they know we walk out, we won't attend, we won't return somebody's invitation when I know that their character is not something, I don't want their negative charge on me, I don't want any of that belief system to be addressed upon me because it's not my belief system. So I, you can easily regulate when somebody is not speaking respectfully to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad That way my shaykh taught me is to watch your heart. So when people are emailing they want an answer because they want somebody to take their path for them, give me straight out answer. But that's not tariqah, tariqah is use your heart, learn, hear these talks, meditate, contemplate. Single most valuable and precious element you have is your qalb. Al qalb in mu'min baytullah. If you do it correctly, Allah's light and love and ishq will reside within the heart. And Allah's love and ishq is what? Is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad. So then, anywhere I go, my vigilance is is my heart going to be affected? Is this going to be just zikr? Alhamdulillah. Is the character of the person is good? Alhamdulillah, I've been dressed by that reality. Are they going to start gossiping and sitting and talking and, and talking nonsense and then that energy is going to be levitating to me and after 10 weeks of sitting with them I'm going to have doubt like them too. So that's the danger of when you teach by energy it makes, un, it makes its, its reality is understood. So by energy you understand that where I sit it's going to come to me. So best that I choose a group of people that are pious, that their characteristics, they exemplify their understanding and their teachings. And if I don't find that then I log online only is enough for me because then I'm purified from all outside contamination. Now I'm listening to my shaykh, I'm getting the faiz and the energy that I need. And that becomes the spiritual growth and the understanding that is being taught. That this heart of ours like a magnet, its sensitivity on energy and blessings, how to receive its energy, how to receive its blessings. And where I go, what I eat, what I drink, all of that is going to then be the sensitivity and the perfection of my heart. What I eat, where I eat, what I drink, everything that comes makes this vessel of Muhammadan ishq to be pure and purified. As a result that becomes the three. So there's the attraction, most powerful and that's by meditation, muraqabah and all the good deeds, good actions towards the love of Allah and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad That power of that attraction is what's opening the spin. You begin to make your tawaf centrifugal movement based on the power of your ish, right? That's why Allah has the, the zikr for human beings, labaik, right? When you're going for hajj you're imitating your electron, you're bringing your donkey for hajj. You're bringing your physicality and saying, I'm labaik, I'm finally I heard the call and I'm here Ya Rabbi. Well the electron already knew that labaik, Allahumma labaik, it had the Divine love for the nucleus and it has been moving in that direction ever since. As a result it's circumvallating, circumvallating, circumvallating and the speed in which it circumvallates is to the strength and the power of its ishq and its love inshaAllah. InshaAllah, hmm. alhamdulillah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun ala mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basiri suri al-Fatiha.